So this is uh, starting with uh, the next part of the practice test that I know is tested in this particular pandemic year, and this starts with problem number 37. It says, as the cell operates, ionic species that are found in this half cell containing the cathode include which of the following? So the cathode, remember, is the one that undergoes reduction, and the reduced one is the one that has the most positive E cell, or the most positive standard reduction potential. And so if you look at these two numbers right here, you can see that this one right here is the most positive. So that's the one that's going to undergo reduction or be in the cathode. So what species are found in the half cell of the cathode? Well, iron plus three and iron plus two, because that's what's happening in there. And so um, number Roman numeral two and Roman numeral three, which is E right here. All right, and then it says, what is the standard potential for this galvanic cell? And remember, it's always cathode minus anode. That gives me the standard cell potential, or the E circle, or the EMF of the cell. And so my cathode is the 0.77 minus a minus 0.76. So I'm going to get uh, about 1.53 there when I add those two together, because remember, minus and minus always ends up being positive. Okay, that ends the multiple choice portion of the test that will be tested in this particular pandemic year. I know there were other questions that were on the practice test, but those are the only ones that are being tested this particular year. Not saying that they will not be tested in future years. Moving on to the free response, though, these will be tested. In these, it says, balance the following redox reactions. Assuming that the reaction takes place in aqueous, acidic, or basic solution, as described in the question, so that you may include, and then it gives you those, the reaction should be balanced with the simple integers from coefficients possible. Well, I'm going to do one of these right now, and then I'll give you references to uh, where you can find the answers to the other ones. And if people want to see entire ones done, they are referenced in the key to the practice test, and it gives you a, a sheet with the other ones completely worked out. So let's take this one right here, and we'll work through these steps right here on balancing redox reaction, which I've done earlier in these videos as well. So step number one is to write the half reactions, but I need to assign oxidation numbers to do that. Oxygen is minus 2 always, and so 2 times 7 is negative 14. It's got to add up to negative 2, and so 2 times positive 6 right here for chromium would give me negative 2. Nitrogen right here has to be negative 2, which means, uh, I'm sorry, oxygen is negative 2, and that would be giving me a negative 4 for the oxygen. It's got to add up to negative 1, so nitrogen here would be positive 3. On this side, the chromium is positive 3. The oxygen, of course, is negative 2, and there's uh, times 3, so that would give me a negative 6 there, which means nitrogen right here must be positive 5. So now that I've assigned my oxidation numbers, I can see what changes, and chromium goes from 6 to 3, so it goes down in charge, and therefore it is reduced. Nitrogen right here goes from 3 to 5, so it goes up in charge, and therefore it's oxidized. So if I want to write the oxidation anode half reaction right here, it would involve NO2 minus 1 going to NO3 minus 1. It goes, uh, nitrogen goes up from 3 to 5. My reduction half reaction, which would be my cathode, would be the Cr2O7 to minus arrow, and that goes to Cr positive 3 right here. Now, following the steps, after I have the half reactions, I need to balance everything except for uh, hydrogen and oxygen. And so I can see that the nitrogens are balanced here, but I have to balance the chromiums by putting a 2 right here. Then balance the oxygens using H2O. And there's three oxygens here, two oxygens here, so I'm going to need one H2O over here on this side. And then over here I have seven oxygens, so I'm going to need seven H2Os on this side because I need seven oxygens over here to balance that. Now, since it says it's in an acidic solution, I can use hydrogens right here, because they're very prevalent in an acidic solution. There's 14 H's on this side, so I will need 14 H pluses on this side to balance the reaction. There's two hydrogens on this side, so I'll have two hydrogens over here on the right-hand side. Now I can balance uh, the charge with E minuses right here. And my overall charge on this side of the reaction is negative 1. 
my overall charge on this side of the reaction is positive one, because I have two positives here and a negative right here, so positive one. And so to get this to be negative one on this side, I'll add two electrons to this side. And so that would give me to a negative one charge, because right now I'm actually at a positive one and I have to get to negative one. And that would balance with the negative one over here. All right, down here then, I have um, positive four, 14 plus a negative 2, so it's positive 12 on this side right now. And then over here, I have positive 6 right here on the chromium and 0 for the water. So I'd need 6 electrons right here to balance this out to get to a positive 6 on this side. So that takes care of my E minuses, and now I have to get the E minuses to be the same. And so I'm going to multiply this reaction by 3. So when I multiply this reaction by 3, I'm going to get 6 electrons over here, which will cancel with these 6. So distribute the 3 in, and be real careful. I'm going to rewrite the oxidation half reaction as 3 H2O plus 3 NO2 minuses, arrow, 3 NO3 minuses plus 6 H pluses plus 3 times 2, or 6 electrons over here. Let me just double check that and make sure I distributed the 3 okay. 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 right here. Now combine and cancel, so I can combine the things on the left hand side of the reaction right here. So all of these pieces will go together, and combine the things on the right hand side of the reaction, so all of those will go together. The 6 electrons will cancel with the 6 electrons. I'm going to end up canceling 3 waters right here, which gives me a total of 4 waters over here on this side. My six hydrogens will cancel over here with 14, and that will get me down to eight hydrogens over here, because 14 minus six, of course, is eight. So let's rewrite this side now as eight H pluses plus Cr2O7 two minus plus three NO2 minuses, and then arrow. And then over here, two Cr positive three plus four H2Os plus 3NO3 minuses, and I think those are all canceled out. And let's make sure that I got everything. Four waters, three nitrates. Okay, now my last step is if it's in basic, add OH minuses, but it's not. It's in acidic solution, so check. So my total charge on this side is positive eight, plus negative 2, plus negative 3. So that gives me down to positive, let's see, 8 down to 5, down to 3 on this side. And then over here on this side, I have negative 3 right here, and I have positive 6 right here, so it gives me a positive 3 on this side of the, half, of the entire reaction. So my charge is balanced. Then I need to check for mass. So eight hydrogens gives me the eight hydrogens. Two chromiums, two chromiums. Seven plus three times two, that gives me 13 oxygens. So four oxygens plus nine gives me 13. And then three nitrogens and three nitrogens balanced. All right, so now the other reactions right here, our uh, answers are given on the end of the test, so you're welcome to go and check yours, but they follow the same exact steps right here, and then balancing the redox reaction, of course, will be an important part of the test. We'll be back with the next part in a moment.